My name is Paul Sammons. I'm the Programme Director at the UCL Centre for Holocaust Education. My background is as a secondary school history teacher. I then worked at the Imperial War Museum in London on the uh, Holocaust exhibition there for 10 years and I've been at the university for seven years. It's interesting that we're often challenged with the question of why teach about the Holocaust in ways that other subject areas are, are not asked in this way. Um, when I was a secondary school history teacher I was never asked why I was teaching about the English Civil War or about ancient Rome or about the Aztec Empire. Uh, but there's something about, why, about the Holocaust that seems to be there's a kind of resistance and a reluctance to explore and encounter it, which actually goes to the heart of the educational project here as well. I think you get that resistance with the Holocaust because it opens up so many deep and troubling issues about our society, about the modern world and who we are. Um, so the very question why teach about the Holocaust seems to indicate to me um, a kind of resistance to uh, its presence in our education system. Many people argue that there's too much about the Holocaust when actually our research shows that really typically uh, a student in England might just learn about it for six lessons in their school career. Uh, to me that is not too much given um, the mass murder of, of millions of people not very far away and not very long ago. So why teach about the Holocaust? Because it opens up questions um, and understandings about genocide, about um, how and why um, the world is the way that it is today. Um, the Holocaust also is the best documented example of genocide we have in history. So if we want to understand that concept, uh, it's a useful starting point. But also it transformed European society as well. We have a, a void, we have a, a loss in Europe. It's, the, it's a different world that we live in today uh, with the destruction of the communities that were lost. Very often the Holocaust is, a, is approached as a kind of moral lesson, as a, almost a moral fable for our times. It appears that many people from our research, many people are quite confident in their knowledge and understanding about the Holocaust, but actually when we get into the detail it turns out that most teachers have not had the opportunity to study the Holocaust at a, a high level. Um, most of them identify, 83% of teachers that we surveyed identify themselves as self-taught when we explore what that teaching actually means. Often this is drawn from popular rather than from academic sources.